Welcome back to CES 2012 with Azus. We've now moved rooms. We've come to somewhere which is far more familiar to our readers, which is motherboards. So we've got a raft of X79 boards here, and you probably do, well, I've seen some of these on the site. Rich is holding the Gene, which is the Micro ATX version. So Rich, talk about this, because this one interests so, me personally. So this is the, the final edition to the Republic of Gamers X79 range. Uh, Micro ATX Gene, Gene series has been extremely popular for us and ever since 775, so we've got full 2011 socket here with the four dims. As and well. uh, sorry, just there, with, with four dims, that's mm -hmm. fine. Do you reckon it'd be impossible to get eight dims on there? Was that ever a design thought? Uh, on this one, four dims is kind of, because of the size limitation, yeah. four dims. And also, you can get up to 32 gig of RAM. This is designed for gamers. You, you don't really need 32 gig of RAM for gamers. And if, even for content professionals that need a small system, high end, it, it should suffice in that, mm -hmm. as far as they go. So uh, for now, this should do. But for future revisions, because there's probably a, a couple of years socket, so for future yeah. revisions, we might see. And it's blooming huge, isn't it, that socket? Yeah, yeah, it, it, it does take up the dominant of the board. Also, because the, the power requirements all under here and the, the thermal mass required to keep that cool um, takes up a significant space as well. Yeah. And in terms of expandability, what have we got? So we've got um, up to four, well, three PCI Express X16 and an X4, but you can do um, two or, say, three-way SLI if you've got a single slot, maybe yeah. water-cooled. Um, other features on the board include the, uh, the probit points for a voltage, voltage tweak, yeah. voltage checking, as well as your LED to check boot. Pro and also we've managed to squeeze on seven SATA ports, as well as eSATA on the back as well, at the top here. Yeah and the USB 3, and BAS flashback as well, which is an okay, extremely popular feature so far in this series. So, so really, people don't miss too much from a full-size board because you've crammed hell of a lot on yeah, this one. Yeah, so, so between this and the formula, the only thing you're really missing is the, the four-way, three or four-way SLI, and um, so also some, uh, some switches that select the PCI Express lanes as well. So it's, you know, it depends on what, what set up your building, how high-end you're going, so ev even if you're not building a, a micro ATX setup, micro ATX board is still adequate for, for a lot of people. Right. And this one's going to be available pretty soon, or is it out now? We've had conflicting reports. Should be this month. Okay. So we've had a slight delay on it, but it's all fixed now and in production, so it should be this month. And can you give me a price on this one, considering it is just a I, few weeks off? I don't know the UK market, unfortunately. <laughs> I live in Taiwan, so I don't know. And you used to be a writer, too. <laughs> yes, yes. I, uh, best check locally. So Perfect. check your local local favourite stores. They should have it this month. Right. Put that tiny board back and show me something impressive, because when we walked in, we saw... Right. Going from tiny board to massive server <laughs> motherboard. So this is dual socket 2011. You've got uh, full quad channel support on both of them, and obviously you need two eight pins to power both of them as well. So this, this takes the new Sandy Ridge EP CPUs that'll be available from Intel very soon. And it also has the updated X79 Southbridge, the, the server version, with the SAS ports here as well. So as you can see, tons of SATA and SAS ports and tons of PCI Express. So for folders out there, if you can get single slot cards, you can really pack them in the board, plus two high-end CPUs as well. And if I've done my math right, with the EP, you've got eight cores, 16 threads, times two, 32 threads. Due to Intel NDA, I cannot confirm what will be in the but CPU. You're not denying, but you're not <laughs> denying it either, so I'll take it as 32. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> confirm. So I'm sure information will be around on the internet to, that might have the specifications if, if, if you're uh, very good at Google. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, now onto something a little bit boring in comparison, but I like these. Monitors. Now this looks like a standard 27-inch monitor, just in the middle. Yeah, so this is, this is we've already released our 27-inch 3D monitor with uh, light boost with the cooperation with NVIDIA last year. And this is another 27-inch, the VA278Q, but it has a higher resolution. It has a 2560 by 1440 resolution. So obviously, for the same size, you've got more pixels, greater pixel density, and um, it's a, I think it's the, we're going with an IPS spec panel on it. So it'll be 60 hertz panel, but IPS spec, good quality colors. 
and um, sort of you're in between, in between the, the P series, like the Pro Art here, and uh, the more budget monitors. So it'll be good quality, high resolution, great for, for gamers and um, content professionals. Well, content uh, semi-professionals. Okay. One thing you're not saying there is 3D. So is it unlikely, well, this year at least, in 2012, to see a 2560 by 1440 3D monitor, given all the workload that takes? All depends on the panel makers. So we're all for it. If it's available, we're all for it, because, you know, we, we love making motherboards and graphics cards. Multiple, multiple uh, GPU is, is, you know, fantastic from NVIDIA and AMD, and, we, you know, we support both, both brands. So, uh, you know... We're all for it. Depends on the panel makers. If we can get the right quality, the right, the right panels, then we'll put it in a as a sure. monitor. I'm going to throw a curveball here. Okay. So we're used to seeing absolutely crazy graphics cards from you guys. Yeah, yeah. There surely must be some roadmap you see now that you work for Asus mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that talks about some gargantuan GPU. Are you? Well, Mars Two isn't that old, and that that still that can still push the the. The good pixels on the on the twenty seven inch or three twenty seven inches, but uh, as as for say, you know, future ROG high end cards, you'll, you'll have to wait and see. I think there's there's a couple of ideas brewing in the VGA labs on the seventh floor, so uh, <laughs> I'm sure you'll see within the next few months. Sure. Right, we're going to have to break into those labs at some point, but um, until then, that's a wrap of our second part of the Azu Suite. So head back for more on Hexus TV.